This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Conan Exiles video. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily just blow through the battle pass. Let's get to it. So whether you decide to buy the battle pass or not, leveling through it can actually be a good thing to do because you do get some neat free items. Now granted, most of the stuff in the battle pass is fluff, but you do get things like this horse here. The undead horse is pretty neat and you do get some cool armor. You get a banner. Where's that horse armor? There you go. You see you get some cool horse armor as well. So there are some free things in there that are worth leveling even if you do not buy the battle pass. If you do buy the battle pass, you definitely want to level it, but I also advise not actually buying it until you've completed it. Complete it, then buy it. Everything will be claimable once you have completed it and bought it. But getting through it and completing these challenges can be a bit tedious. That's why today I'm going to show you how to absolutely destroy this thing. However, there's a few things that you need to know first in order to maximize your experience and how quickly you can get through this thing. First off, you get five XP multipliers per day. That is this 10 times you see up here. So if I was to complete this right now, I would get 300 experience. Every level in the battle pass is 1000 experience. On top of getting five new XP multipliers every 24 hours, your challenges also reset every 24 hours. That means the ones that I see here now, if I do not complete them, will change in 24 hours and I will lose all current progress. You will also get three rerolls every 24 hours hours as well. The first thing you want to do is don't bother to complete or claim common challenges. Now, if you do for some reason complete it, just don't claim it and it won't use up one of your XP multipliers. You want to only use your XP multipliers on rare and legendary challenges. So you can see here I have defeat bat creatures, complete the black keep and defeat frost giants. I got to kill 10 of them. The reason is because these experience multipliers multiply the base experience by 10, meaning 30 experience becomes 300 experience experience, 70 experience becomes 700 experience. Once you complete these, these challenges will go away and you will get new ones. Now over here in these last two slots, I almost always see rare and uncommon and legendary challenges. But if for some reason you do not roll a new rare or legendary, you can use your reroll. Or if it's one that you can't complete, you can use a reroll. That's where the rerolls come in super handy. The second thing is don't bother trying to do this on a server. If for some reason you are on your server and you complete one of these rare or legendary legendary challenges, by all means claim it. What you ideally want to do is wait until you've built up a bunch of these XP multipliers, like you can see I've done here, then you log on to single player, admin yourself, and complete the challenges that way. And it's super easy to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this practice sword here that I have, and I'm going to make a few edits to it. If you want to know how to edit items in vanilla, check out my link down in the description, and I'll also put it at the end of the video showing you how to edit items in vanilla. So I just edited this item, it has poison on it, and it also also deals 1000 damage per hit. As you can see here, I have the challenge to defeat bat creatures. This is going to be super easy to complete. All I have to do is hit shift insert to go into the admin panel here, go to spawn NPCs, type in bat, and we just want a basic bat demon. That's this right here, wildlife underscore bat demon. We're just going to spawn in a bunch of them. They will overlap each other. And now here they all are. And I can just go through and slaughter them all quickly and easily. As you see here, I didn't even bother to god myself because I just have a completely broken weapon. Now, if you take a look at my challenges, I've completed that. That was an easy 700 experience. You can see here that we re-rolled this into an uncommon. You don't want to bother with uncommons. Next, we have this awesome legendary one here that's 150 experience times 10, and that is to complete the Black Keep. In order to do this one, I'm actually going to put myself in creative mode. That puts me in ghost and in god mode. I'm in creative right now. You can also do that by once you have admin yourself hitting escape and going into creative mode. Now we're just going to bring up the map and we're going to teleport up here to the Black Keep. So here we are inside the Black Keep and completing this should be relatively easy. All we need to do is fight the boss at the end and kill him. In order to do that and get to him quickly and easily without going through the whole dungeon, we are just going to go into ghost. So you want to hit the tilde key to bring up the admin panel. If you're on console, I don't know how you do this on console, but you can just go into creative and rocket through the dungeon really fast. But we're just going to type ghost that's going to put me in ghost mode. And now I can just fly up here until we get to him. And here we are in his chambers. We are cloaked and he cannot see us because we're in creative. And I can just go through here and murder him. And this should complete the challenge. There you go. We completed the challenge. Challenge done. Now you can see we have defeat mammoth using poison and defeat frost giants. We go over to the menu here and we type in mammoth. And right here we go. So now we want to make sure that poison is what kills this mammoth. So I'm going 
going to attack it and get it super low with our sword and then I'm gonna let the poison do all of the work. If it dies with me hitting it, it won't actually count. So there we go. And that should count. There you go. Completed. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, if you end up with a situation like this or you end up with some that you can't complete, this is where you just use your rerolls. Now, we have this completely sunder an elephant. I could do that one, but it's an absolute pain. So I'm just going to ignore that one. I'm going to do a reroll, tell it yes, and see what I get. Here you go. I ended up with another legendary. So we got to complete the War Makers Sanctuary dungeon, which should be super easy to do because we just do that one like we did the Black Keep. And we got Harvest Black Ice, another really, really easy one to do, especially in creative and defeat tigers another easy one to do so that reroll was more than worth it that's going to gain us a couple of levels right there with just those all right and that's pretty much all there is to it if you have any questions or anything let me know down there in the comments and once again if you want to know how to edit items check out the link to the video at the end of this one and it will teach you everything you need to know about creating custom items and if you found this video helpful and informational consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when i upload other videos i want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos a sponsor free. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to become an official channel supporter, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.